Thank you, Monique. Thank you for the presentation and welcome everyone to the first Bellini webinar that uh, I'm pleased to present and I'm honored to do this in front of so many of, uh, of you guys because you're really a lot. Um, what is Bellini? Bellini um, is the expression of the best quality and the best artisan crafted molding in the world. All our molding, they come from Italy. They come from Italy, from the best artisan, and they are completely done by hand. My background, I've been working in one of the manufacturer company that does the Bellini uh, product for over 20 years. And I was the general manager of the company. And I am personally have been involved into the production, as well as uh, sharing all my experience with uh, the worker and all the artisan with their um, how can I say, very old skill given by the father, the grandfather, coming from generation and generation. Um, why we want to do the webinar? I, we think that uh, just in the Australian market, Bellini is an icon today. It represents the most the Sarmo molding collection that we have in the Australian market is the only brand that really can make the difference. And um, particularly, what I want to talk about is the last release that we have done in Bellini. I moved to Australia and I joined the SPS Corporation as product manager three years ago. And uh, traveling all over Australia and having the pleasure to talk with all our customers for Bellini and Anton's, I, after three years now, am able to put together some ranges that uh, our clients are asking for. The last release that we have done, that we launched in February in Bellini, is a release that has an historical collocation. Lot of our, um, lot of the people that I met, they were talking about that they want something glamorous, but at the same time, that has a tradition, it has a, an historical collocation to it. And that's what we, what I've tried to do. And I think, uh, by memory, there was uh, no one new release in uh, the Bellini history that was uh, so successful. And that's uh, really an honor for me because that means that uh, we are getting, we are meeting the customer requirements. Uh, this range I met personally. I've been traveling for the last three months all over Australia. New Zealand, Tasmania, and uh, since today, all the customers that I've, uh, I had the pleasure to visit and present my range, they all got this, the old range of the new release, the old sample on the wall. And this is a really a uh, very good result for our Bellini product. Let's start, I want, I want to introduce the range. I'm gonna present it one by line and I'm gonna give you some uh, information regarding each line, where it comes from, and what is the, the rationale behind it that has inspired the, the range. The first range that we launched this year, and I want to mention uh, a customer that is Artis Pura. She asked me to bring this range two years ago when I met her for the first time. It's the Dutch Ripple. Dutch Ripple, is a, a range that um, historically was created in the 17th century. It's called Dutch Ripple, but the, was created in Germany. This range was made out of ebony wood, that is a black wood, so that's why it's totally black, the finishing, and was carved by yen. In, after 100 years, they've done a machine that was uh, run by yen as well to do this repetitive pattern on the ebony. But uh, it's called Dutch Ripple because uh, actually it became famous in Holland. In Holland it's where this molding became famous because uh, some of the, the impressionists, all the major artists in Holland, they got all the original artwork framed in this beautiful molding. Um, one I think one artwork that everyone knows is the, the girl with the pearl earrings. The original one has been framed with a Dutch ripple in frame. I brought this Dutch ripple not only because uh, 
I've been asked to do so, but also because uh, today uh, is coming back. Also with the, the combination with some contemporary artwork as well as some acrylic artworks. I was in Paris in January and I've seen at the Maison Jet, that is for me one of the best show in the world regarding trends and design. And a lot of the article, the artwork offered in the, in the show was framed with Dutch ripple. This range comes in three beautiful sizes. The, my favorite, I love beautiful molding, is the, is the biggest one, this one. This is, this is the profile that I like the most. Um, of course, Dutch ripple means uh, classic, means something that goes very well with the old maps, for instance, like the one that we presented in our, in our beautiful uh, brochure that my marketing team has done for me. Thank you for that. And, but also, again, look at that side of the box. You can also be inspired in doing something more contemporary with this, with this range. Completely finished by Yen in Italy. The beauty of this range is that uh, the black is not really black. There is a little bit of red, the warm coming through. So this goes very well also with some Asian artwork. Japanese artwork, the one that they have that little bit of red coming through matches very well this range. And also when you touch it, you can see the softness of the finishing. The, the natural bee wax that there is on top of it to protect this beautiful air finish movie. We also, together with the Dutch Ripple, also we launched a little fillet in gold and silver leaf that goes very well inside the rebate of the Dutch Ripple range. So it can bring a little bit of life to it and creates an edge between the molding and the artwork itself. Another important feature is the height of the rebate, especially in the, in the large format one. If you want to frame oils on canvas, all on canvas. Same period of the Dutch Ripple was a, a similar look in France, and it's called guilloché. Guilloché from the French word means repetitive pattern. The pattern is very similar to the Dutch Ripple one, but in France, instead of adding uh, the black color, they start to gild it, so to put gold leaf, silver leaf around it. And that's why we have created this range with guilloché. Also, the French taste is a little bit more refined than the German and Dutch taste, so that's why the, the size of the molding is very thin and high, because it was they like very classic and minimal look. Um, to get, after this range, let me introduce you my epoch range. The epoch range is a range made in a beautiful um, ornate pattern. This molding is made with a very delicate decoration, perfect the balance, the balance between the decoration, the shiny part of the finish and the matte part uh, makes the molding very feminine. It's a molding that is gentle, it's gentle, sorry. It's also beautiful the way you can join the corner because it, the pattern being so subtle and minimal gets you a perfectly joining to the corner. You don't see that uh, unlevel corner that are not great when you look at that. This molding here is available in two sizes and it's uh, end finish from uh, the artisan that I was talking before and comes from, from Napoli. The, also, we will talk about this range. I'm going to go back to this range when we will talk about our stacking combination. This molding is perfect to do some very amazing stacking combination and get a big profile ROH. It's uh, just put them together. They look like one big, one big molding. The, I want to draw your attention also on the balance and the color that we have in this release. There is nothing 
with this color in the Australian market. The gold looks like 24 karat gold. It's yellow, it's soft, it's not orange. And the silver, that's got a little bit that the champagne coming through. And uh, again, the perfect balance between the shiny and the matte finish gives that very elegant feeling to this movie. Um, I'm proud to say that uh, we got some customer uh, that they have framed some original artwork with this molding already. They have posted, we have posted them on our uh, Facebook page because we are so proud of what they've done. And I want to mention Judy Prinky. Thank you. Thank you for what you have done. That page, 500 years old, for me was uh, really, you made my day. And the, the framing was amazing. The, the choice that you have done was perfect for that artwork. Thank you, Judy. Um, going back to, to the same period and same kind of look, uh, this pattern here from our epoch is a little bit, it's French inspired, it's very gentle. Same period, but a different range, we have released our Baroque range. Baroque comes from the Spanish and Portuguese word Barocco, means rich. Uh, the difference between this range and this one is that when you, we talk about Baroque and Spanish influence or Portuguese influence, we see a little bit the, the pattern that is a little bit more thick, bold, a little bit stronger, that has that little bit of masculine flavor to it. Not like this one that is more feminine. This range also, it's, uh, this comes uh, in gold and silver and in a beautiful black that has a little bit of silver coming through. Beautiful end finish done by end. And I'm gonna show you some amazing stacking combination with it, with this moving still. The last range that we launched this year in this release, it's called the Prestigio. Prestige. What a name for a rage. It's Italian, like me. That doesn't mean that it's the most beautiful, but it's my favorite. Prestigio is a range that is a, a classical look, but in the same time, it's very versatile and can be used for also contemporary artwork. Suits black and white images, photo, sapia color goes very well with this range. The peculiarity of this range is that uh, it's the only one that you have released that is made using Chabin gold or silver leaf. Chabin means broken leaf from the French. Initially the Chabin was the leftover of the leaf that was broken and then they were using to do let's say the less the cheaper version of the molding. Today the Chabin is even more expensive than the gold leaf because it has to be selected. And the beauty of the Chabin finishing is that it gives you some lot of shades in the finishing. The finishing when you when you look at the moldings is uneven. So you can see a lot of different pattern, a lot of different color, shades. Uh, when you look at the molding, and that makes the beauty. Being also an ornate molding doesn't look so busy. It's it's simply elegant. The joining, perfect again. It's uh, it's something that uh, also gives you the opportunity to work a little bit better because you don't have to do any pattern match. You just kind of join and goes beautifully with it. And I want to thank you, Louis. That I know you're there for the artwork that you framed with this range here. They were amazing. Thank you for that. So this was my new release of Bellini. And um, again, I want to remember you, to remind you that Bellini is made in Italy by hand. It's, uh, we got the best of the artisan skills 
that uh, we bring to Australia. Um, the what sells Bellini is the passion. is It's uh, it's not only the product. It's the history that there is behind the product. All the elements that we use in our Bellini range are natural. We have a lead-free paint because are against the European Community rules. All the components used to, to obtain this beautiful finish are natural, natural shellac, natural bee wax. So it's also the perfect molding to be used for a conservation framing. Sometimes we talk about conservation. We have a museum glass, we have a museum grade mat board, museum grade foam board, all the components, but then we don't have the molding that goes with it. So this is a, one of the key features of, of this product as well. It's all natural. The wood is pine wood harvested in Italy, FSC certified. That means that uh, meets the requirement for the rainforest program. One tree, they cut, they plant four new ones. So it's also environmentally friendly. This is absolutely one important feature. And also because uh, the pine, being a resinous wood, doesn't make any worms, doesn't make any bugs. And that's another important thing of feature of the product. So even if places humid, as we find in Northern Territory in Australia, in Queensland, this molding will stay like it is forever, will never change. I think I think I gave you enough information regarding this range. I hope you will have a lot of questions that uh, I can answer when we finish uh, the presentation. What I'm going to show you now is some stacking ideas. Uh, we got some image that you will see going through your uh, your screen, but also we will, I will do that. I will try to show you live. So we'll see how we go because uh, I don't know if the camera can can get it. Monique, do you want to start with the first stacking combination? What I've done here, I put together my epoch range and the guillotine in the middle. As you can see, looks like one big molding. They go really, really well all together. And this gives you a very rich new creation. You can make your own. And that's what I like the most about the link, that I can create the design that I want. Every single thing that I frame, I can put my touch to it. And this is not often possible with the rest of the building that we have available in the market. Another important thing is that uh, we have the exclusive for this product for the Australia and New Zealand market. If you find something that is similar, it's a copy. And I'm really happy to be copied to tell you the truth, because that means that the product is good. So this is the first stacking combination. Of course, it's one of my favorite. Looks just perfect, and it's easy to make. The next one, and I introduced a new chapter here. It's a stacking combination that I've done with the previous release that we have done with Bellini. And I just let me spend a few words regarding this previous release. It's the Water Guild. What is Water Guild? It's from French, and it's uh, the meaning of Dorure Law, that means uh, gilded with the water. Water Guild is uh, the most antique process of leafing and gilding frames or interiors. It was invented 900 years ago in France. Initially, the gilding was used, was done in real gold 
and used to decorate the interiors of the palaces of the king, of all the noble society that they had these beautiful and amazing palaces. And they were li uh, leaving the, the decoration around the ceilings or the columns inside. They had this beautiful decoration in gold leaf. After 200 years, they start to use this technique on the molding. Water guild means that uh, as a base that covers the wood, we use a bowl that is called Le Franc. It's a water-based bowl that is put on, on the wood by brushing it. And uh, this, this special bowl reacts with the water. It becomes sticky. So what happens is that when we go and put the lift on, on top of the molding, we have to wet like every 20 centimeters the molding and then lift it. It's a very long and slow process. What, what it does gives the molding and the finishing, especially when we use a real silver, gives that transparency and that shyness that uh, can never come in any other way. Um, the difference also is that uh, when we do water gilt, we have to use sterling silver, pure silver. And only the gold, we don't use the 24 karat gold because it's too, too expensive otherwise, but we use an imitation of gold that is as thin as the, the sterling silver. The being a more precious metal that we use, usually to give you an, an example, the usual imitation gold leaf and silver leaf is a 16 by 16 centimeters big. So it's a big leaf. The one that we are used for the water guild are eight by eight because they are more precious, so they are smaller to reduce the wastage. Um, another important feature that uh, after we put the leaf on top of the molding and it gets sucked in by the bowl, then we use uh, a very precious utensil that is called agatha stone. The agatha stone is a, a natural stone that is used to burnish the, the leaf, silver or gold, whatever it is, and that gives the brightness and the shyness to the finish. We are the only one in the market today in Australia that we have a range of 10 different profiles in the water give range, and we are so happy about the result and the response that we got from the market. Also because uh, our range is very, it's a classic finish, but with a contemporary look. And this is very well accepted from the artists that they want something that is very refined, very little, minimal, that goes around their beautiful artwork. This was just a little explanation of what is water guild. I know that all of you will know already all this information, but it's good to, to refresh them. We go to the next stacking combination, Monique. We already seen this one. The next one is the water guild one. Yeah, this is a very simple stacking combination. What I've done, I just put together my, the big and the small size of the, my prestige range, and it looks like one big frame again, gentle, all steps, big scoop create with all this little step that creates a little bit of shadow when you frame it. And it's, uh, it goes really perfect together. Just simple, two from the same range. Another second combination that we have is this one. Again, I've used two water guild frames from the Bellini range, very thin. They're only 13 mil wide. The tall one that is 50 millimeters tall on the external part, and the inner part is 13 by 20, very small again. And in the middle, there is a black wood looking frame from our Bellini range. As you can see, I'm also playing with the texture of the molding, giving that contrast between shine 
and rough surface, creating a perfect balance and highlighting the big part of the frame that is that beautiful charcoal black timber. Another combination that I want to do, the last one, and for this I have no picture, but I will show you what I'm doing, is that my Baroque range, the way the profile is done, is got like two different rebates. One of the external part and one of the internal part. This frame, thanks to this, can be used as an inner. So I'll just use it in an inner frame. But I want to do more. I'm going to use my guilloche on the external part. And I have created a Florentine cassette from the 16th century that was a molding with the, a gold ornate edge inside and the outside and the wood or color tones in the middle. If you go to the Uffizi, you will see lots of artwork, hunting scene frame with molding that looks like this. And again, I'm using two Bellini and then just one from our Anton's range and they match perfectly. Use your imagination when it's about when it comes to stacking ideas. I gave you some of my ideas, but I'm a little bit eccentric. I change my mind all the time. I use always new combination. You can do what you want. It's just that the versatility of the component of the molding that we are using gives you the opportunity to make a point of difference. And we are here. We are in our industry. We are the consultant of the customer. We have to make a point of difference for them. I can never express enough that the most important thing is that in our industry is that when we receive a customer in our gallery, in our shop, with something that he wants framed, he most of the time does or he she most of the time doesn't have any idea what the what he wants. We make the decision for them. Yes, they have an idea of silver, molding, gold, natural timber, but at the end of the day, we pick the final product for them. So it's really important. Never forget about this. You make the decision, not the customer. You are the consultant. Um, I think uh, I covered a little bit uh, everything. What I want to talk about now is a little bit of the new trends, and this is the most exciting part. Um, a big part of my job is to travel around the world, looking at new trends, what is happening, and especially I go to the furniture show, like the Milan one, it is the most famous in the world, and the Maison Jet in Paris for the interior design and the, the, uh, the accessories for the home decor. And these two show for me are an icon that everyone must see to see what is happening, the, what, what would be the new trend. This year I was really expiring my visit to Maison Jet in January because I found a lot of inspiration because what is the trend now is to have, uh, there are two big trends happening. One is to have uh, very nice and soft metals, soft metals, soft color, like uh, aged metals, and uh, but with a soft surface, very curvy, very nice, something that uh, blends into the a little bit of the industrial look, but with a refined touch, something that is more contemporary. And this was uh, the one of the team that I picked for my next release in Bellini. We're gonna have a, a designer release in uh, the August show in uh, Sydney, right? Another trend that was very, very strong and very impressive in uh, Metanachet was the oxidation, like the rust feel, the really heavy industrial, the lot of texture, lots of finishing that they you can feel, not only look. And this is another range that I have developed 
in uh, for my August release. So for the next release in Bellini, I'm not gonna show you anything, but I can I can tell you that it's gonna be something wow. It's going to be different, it's going to be design, it's going to be big, it's going to be something that, again that is not in the market yet. So this is also another important thing regarding Bellini. We have to make a trend. With Bellini we are the leaders, we are not the follower. We have to develop the idea and be creative and be innovative. We cannot follow the trends, otherwise we will just follow it. We will not make any difference. Thank you. Any question? Thank you, Stefano. Such an insightful discussion today um, about the design ideas and the stacking combinations. We now open the floor to any questions. So if you have any questions, please submit them now and Stefano will be glad to answer them for us. He's watching me now. Everyone's saying thank you, Stefano. No thanking you for today. Oh, thank you all for uh, for being here for our first webinar with Bellini. We will have a new one soon, I think. And every every time we will have a new one, we will have a different topic. Sometimes more into the details of the production of the product sometimes more design oriented. I hope to have you here once again and we have a question? Yes. So oh, we have a question. Lewis Bolton has asked. Lewis. Uh, yeah, Lewis. <laughs> the Water Guild range, is it imitation gold or brass? It's uh, it comes from the brass. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a metal lid, uh, but the majority of the lid is, uh, is the brass because it's got the same tone of the gold and it can be used as the gold. The, the gold. The, to have the finishing in the water gill is very important, the thickness of the leaf. So only with the very soft metals like gold, silver and the brass, you can have that very very, very thin leaf. We are talking about uh, zero point something micron, not even millimeters. So it's very, very thin and versatile. Thank you, Louis. Um, Louis says, thanks, Stefano, for a great presentation. And he loves the new Epoch and Baroque range as well as the Watergill range. Thank you, Louis. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more questions? Yes, so uh, we've got another question here, Stefano. Can you show the stacking examples you were talking about with the 275 and the 274 range? 275 and 274 range? Yes, I can do that. I need, uh, is the one with the kill. So, Stay with me one second, I'm going to grab the sample of the only that I use. All right. What I've used, I've used the B2603, that is this beautiful black oak, Ramage oak molding with all this uh, very rough texture. And what I've done, I put the 27502 on the external part, the 27402 on the central part, and the 27502 as a mirror. This completely change the look of the frame. As you can see, something rustic becomes contemporary. Um, we've also got another question here, Stefano. Do you have any recommendations for joining the stacks? Well, depends on the molding that we are using. 
uh, I will always start from the external molding and then put, go with the internal and then the internal again. To join it together, it depends on uh, how high is the molding and how is the back. This is very simple because it's all flat, so it's easy to join. But if we have uh, some molding that we, they're curved, and that's where the, the skill of the artisan comes out because it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's different case by case. There is not a rule. What's your favorite combination for this range, stacking combination? My favorite combination is this one because you create something that is, that exists and it's really ancient, really. This is a molding that, uh, for me, being Italian, is a molding that uh, is in every Italian picture framer. It's the Florentine cassette, it's a classic, it's a traditional, it's everywhere. Uh, Greg here has asked, he's noticed a strong trend towards natural timbers. Do you think you might be introducing any exotic and natural timbers to the Bellini range? We already have some natural timbers, but uh, because we're talking about Bellini, uh, we have the, the Ramage Oak in the B226, 227, 229, and two, four shapes, and I think 228. So it's four shapes that we have in natural timber, that is Ramage oak, and the difference between our natural timber in Bellini from the other ones available in the market is that being a Ramage oak is a, is a kind of veneer that is uh, it's very rare, and uh, the peculiarity of this veneer uh, compared to the other oaks used in the market is that there are a lot of knots and a lot of texture to it, and also, the thickness of the veneer that we use is uh, one millimeter instead of 0 0.4, that is the standard thickness of every veneer used for the moon, because we want to give that depth in the look. So again, yes, I think there is a, a lot of uh, the trend at the moment for the natural timber, but again, also in Bellini, we have the natural timber, what but at the same time, we have to make always a point of difference. Uh, will you be doing any oval or round frames in the near future? Um, I don't have that in plan at the moment for Bellini, but uh, I'm happy to, if there is a project for a few, for a quantity of it, I'm happy to, I know how to get it, so I'm happy to satisfy the needs of every customer. If they want, they can just make an inquiry, giving me the dimension and the look, and I can source the product for them. But I don't think I'm going to have this in our standard Bellini range at the moment. Well, great. Thank you for everything today. And Thanks to you. Yeah, I think Thanks you've really you. educated everyone, our audience today. Um, if you have any further questions, please email us at marketing at bellinifinemolding.com.au. Next week we will be circulating the webinar which we have recorded today, so keep your eyes out for that. But thank you everyone for attending today. And thank, thank you. Bye-bye.